Reports are stating that contact has been made with Verona defender Destiny Udugi. Uh, Fraser Forster has come out and said, I can't wait to be a part of this group and a full international roundup. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and also like and share. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. A report has just been published by Sky Sports and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur Football Club are interested in signing defender Destiny Udogi. He plays for Verona but currently on loan at Serie A club Udinese. It states that Fabio Prati has met with his representatives who are currently in London. Sky Sports are stating that the player has an asking price of €20 million. Euros. So what do we know about Destiny Udogi? Well, he is an Italian footballer who currently plays for Udinese on loan uh, from Verona. He was born in 2002. He is 19 years old. He is a left back and he is six foot two. Udogi spent his youth career at Verona. Uh, he has made six appearances for them to date. He went on loan at Udinese in 2021, making 35 appearances for them in Serie A, scoring five times. Um, an international under 16, under 17, under 18, under 19 and now under 21 level for Italy. As I mentioned there, he grew up um, in the Verona youth system. He made his Serie A debut on the 8th of November 2020 in a 2-2 away draw against AC Milan. And just a year ago, on the 15th of July 2021, he joined at Udinese on loan with an obligation to buy. Now, new Tottenham Hotspur signing, Fraser Forster has come out and said he cannot wait to be a part of the group. He said, I'm sure it will be fairly straightforward for me from the moment I get through the door. Um, everyone speaks so highly about the group and how good a group it is. So I can't wait to be a part of that, getting the opportunity to work with a world-class manager, Antonio Conte, learning how and what he demands from his players. If you've got a full pre-season, you've got a lot of time to do that, and then you're able to hit the ground running. Forster then went on to talk about fellow goalkeeper and club captain Hugo Lloris and said Hugo is a fantastic goalkeeper who has achieved so much in the game. Forster then went on to say it's up to me to come in to work hard and bring my qualities to the group. I've plenty of experience, played a lot of European football when I was up in Celtic and being one of the older ones I can bring that experience with me, hard work, look to improve and help the team and the squad. Now for an international roundup concerning a couple of Tottenham Hotspur players that played on Monday evening. Denmark beat Austria 2-0 at home in the Nations League. Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Pierre Mihoibiet played the full 90 minutes in that match. France lost 1-0 at home against Croatia in the Nations League. Uh, Luka Modric scored the only goal of the game from the penalty spot. And club captain Hugo Lloris was an unused sub. A report has just been published by the Daily Mail and they are stating that Manchester United and Tottenham handed Christian Eriksen transfer boost as the Danish playmaker rejects Brentford contract extension in hope of joining new Premier League club. It states that Christian Eriksen has reportedly turned down a contract extension at Brentford according to reports in Italy. Manchester United and Spurs have been linked with signing him this summer. The Danish playmaker suffered a cardiac arrest 12 months ago during 2020. He made an amazing return to competitive football at Brentford in January 2022. The 30-year-old went on to score one and assist four in 11 top flight appearances. He would prefer a move to England and wants to play in the Champions League. England will be in action this evening at 7.45pm kickoff as we will be taking on Hungary in the Nations League at Molyneux, the home of Wolverhampton Wanderers Football Club. Now, we have played three games in the Nations League so far, two draws and one defeat. Now, on Monday afternoon, Gareth Southgate and England captain Harry Kane uh, had their press conference and Gareth Southgate come out and said he is braced for another tough game in the Nations League against Hungary. Well, win the game. 
first of all. Um, but as, you've, as you're aware, throughout this period, I've got several different objectives that I'm trying to achieve. And um, we've, got, uh, we've got players who are fresh, and that could be important. The squad is important. Um, there's definitely some things we, we want and need to see. We've got a different sort of tactical challenge tomorrow, which every team in the group and lots of other teams around Europe are, are finding difficult against Hungary. They're a good side. And um, so there's a lot for us to take from the game. And um, it's very important that our approach, I have to say, this group of players have been incredible. You know, their mentality, their um, desire to, to play for England, to work every day on the training pitch to get better. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a group who are as committed as they are. And lastly, just a reminder that the Premier League fixtures for the 2022-2023 season will be released this week on Thursday, 9am. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode. Let's start with the Udogi uh, report from Sky Sports. Now, 19-year-old defender. Um, I've got to say, I'd be very surprised if this happens um, because I think that this transfer window, this summer transfer window for Antonio Conte is all about experience, all about players that have been there, done it, got the T-shirt and bringing experience to this Tottenham Hotspur squad and starting eleven Players that Antonio Conte can trust straight away. And this is no... Uh, disrespect about um, young players in general or Udogi just being a 19-year-old with very little experience in the Italian league. Um, I think that Antonio Conte wants to win trophies. He wants to be successful immediately. He doesn't want to be trying out players. He wants players to be coming into this starting eleven, coming into this Tottenham Hotspur squad. You know, we've got Champions League football. Uh, you know, he wants to win the Premier League. He wants to put trophies in the cabinet of Spurs. He will want ready-made players in this transfer window to fit straight in. With that said, if we did sign any young players around 19 years old, I think that we would probably go and loan them back out again um, because, you know, Antonio Conte, as I've said, I think he will want experienced players, especially in this window, players to get the job done and who he trusts. And, uh, you know, we've seen him before um, in his managerial career. He's gone back to players that he's known before and worked with before. So I wouldn't be at all surprised to see some players, some familiar faces for him at Spurs next season in this transfer window. Um, but I keep saying on these episodes at the moment, we are a month away from our South Korea tour. So, you know, the, the business, I think, will hot up uh, very soon at Spurs. We will bring in a number of players. Uh, Conte will definitely want to improve this Tottenham Hotspur squad for next season. Um, because as I keep mentioning, he will want to challenge for trophies and he will want to be successful next season. When we've all seen as Spurs fans how successful he has been since arriving in November, getting Tottenham Hotspur over the line, getting us Champions League football, I'm very excited about next season. And Fraser Forster sounds extremely excited at the moment, um, and as he should be. He's going to be working with a World Cup winner in Hugo Lloris. He's going to be going every day to Hotspur Way, one of the best uh, training grounds um, in the world. He's going to be playing uh, or uh, sitting on the sub bench at the, uh, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, one of the best stadiums in the world. So no doubt he is excited. But I feel um, comfortable as a Spurs fan um, knowing that if Hugo Lloris missed a game for whatever reason, injury, suspension, um, illness, whatever, um, I would feel comfortable with uh, Fraser Forster coming in to deputise for our captain. And, uh, you know, he does bring a lot of experience, particularly in Europe and the Premier League. So I feel very confident with him uh, being the backup to Lloris. And lastly, the fixture's out on Thursday, 9am UK time. I don't know why, I'm, I'm going to probably be completely wrong here, but I've just got a gut feeling that we're going to get a newly promoted side away from home on the opening day of the season. My guess, and I'm going to give you my prediction, I'm going to go with Nottingham Forest away for our first game. Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And also, please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.